Hello, my name is and welcome to On The Go, a series where I show you short but useful minor tips within 5 minutes. Today we're doing armor, let's get right into it! So for that you're going to need your character texture and the armor textures. You can find these textures in your Minecraft folders. Type in percent, app data percent, open up the rolling folder, dot Minecraft, versions, let's just go with 1.14.4, doesn't really matter. Open the jar file using Winner Archiver, and from then go to Assets, Minecraft, Textures, Models, Armor, and in here you have all the different variants of the armor textures. Remember that, you might need it. Let me add a new character, roster texture, Yim Man, he seems to be glitching as well. Now, what I want to do is add a body part, and let's say a head of Steve for now. I'm gonna change the texture to the armor layer one, armor head, I love the armor head onto the actual head. Now, take on custom rotation point, and be because this is 8 pixels high, press 4, so now it's in the center, and go 4 units up. So now it's in the same place, but rotation point is in the center. Scale it up to however much you want. Let's go for 1.13. This seems okay. Next, add a body part. Go for a body of the character. Armor body. Bross with the same texture, which is the diamond layer 1. Lock this onto your character's body. The body is 12 pixels high, so go for a custom rotation point of 6. Lock it on the lower half, put it 6 units up, and now tick on inherit bend. So when when you bend the body, this will bend with it. We can scale it up to 0.6. You can also scale it individually for X, Y, and Z if you want to have more extruded but not go up as much. You have an overlaying armor. You can do the same for the arms, for the legs. But finally, I want to do one more thing. I'm going to use an item sheet. I'm going to give you a download of all my item sheet presets if you need them. But for now, open up my armor textures and I want to copy these top pixels right here. I want to copy this row. Copy, paste it in the item sheet right here, turn off the back background, export, export is a PNG, needs to be a PNG once again. Now in here, you can add a new item, call it something, browse for the image we just made, armor items, select the first item, lock this onto your armor body, custom rotation point, put it down. If you position this into the armor right here, it appears that the armor is three-dimensional, even though that's not the case. All you gotta do is hide the edges. However, if you do something like this, it sometimes breaks. That's something you do have to think about, or perhaps you don't have to use this at all and just keep the armor like this. But that is how you get armor. And now, if you don't want the armor, you can just make it invisible. So you have your character, which you can toggle armor pieces individually. Build the entire thing, you have yourself you have yourself an armor. That is it for On The Go, sorry that's all I have time for. My schedule is quite busy lately, hopefully it's gonna get better, but I'm trying to make content for you guys as I am on the go. See? <laughs> Did a pun right there. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed, I hope this was helpful, and now, good luck, enjoy with your new armor. Thanks for watching, and stay sharp.